Hey guys, welcome back as always, my name is Lazar, and today we got a full build guide for Haley. Yesterday I brought you a showcase of what she's capable of with just a couple of mods, but today we finalized the build so you can see exactly what she's capable of. So without further ado, this is what we're doing. I'm gonna show you the build, and then we're gonna go into multiplayer bosses. And right at the end I'll put solo bosses as well, simply because solo bosses don't seem to be as relevant for you guys anymore, because you can basically 2-shot, 3-shot, 4-shot, essentially all the solo bosses in the game. But the actual build will be looking something like this. Now, here's the deal. You don't need to stick 100% to the guidelines that I offer you. But if you want a whole lot of damage and a bit of survivability as well, something like this will definitely suffice. Dangerous Ambush, Chill Specialist, Frontlines, Glacial, Synctium. Here's the thing. Chill skill 10% is not that big of a deal. It adds about, I think, 150 to 100,000 damage per shot. So you can skip this one entirely if you're on a budget. But you need emergency measures. You need skill concentration. And you don't need critical chance. For all intents and purposes, you can skip this one entirely. When Haley is fully stacked up using her third ability, you're not going to reach 100%. I think you reach something like 80 something percent. But mathematically speaking, it's better to go for a bit more critical damage in that case than critical chance. It's really down to you either way. MB conversion helps out a lot with multiplayer bosses. In single player bosses, you're not really going to be needing the skill cooldown because you're only going to be using your cooldowns once and everything will die. So you can get rid of this one if the maximum MP bothers you. In actual gameplay, normally that maximum MP should not be bothering you as long as you are using your Zenith to hit weak points on the boss so you get some of that MP back. Shot focus. Now this is a real benefit, but it's not humongous. When it comes to the DPS priority, I would put this one honestly towards the bottom with the Glacial Signum. I'm giving you these options in the idea that you might have a budget build in mind and don't want to go all out. Increased HP instead of this one. What you can go for is Battle Stamina, but you don't really need skill duration all that much. Simply go for the largest chunk of HP, like so, plus Spear and Shield that will add a bit of damage as well. Essentially, you will be able to take a, not a direct hit, but a more glancing blow hit from Gluttony. As you can see, this is not Blast Cannon. She does have a bit of HP, a bit of survivability, certainly more than something like Alepic. Now, we already talked about this, but in case you didn't see yesterday's build, you will need a very strong stat stick in order to get the most damage out of Haley. A lot of the damage comes from the base damage of your weapon. The highest base damage weapon in the game is going to be Piercing Light, and the mods that you put on Piercing Light will be having an effect. Flat damage does have an effect, critical chance, critical damage does have an effect. I would not want critical chance simply because Hades free ability is going to be giving you more than plenty. Fully stacked out, piercing light is going to be going to 90 something percent critical chance. You can stop there, it's more than fine. Outside of that, weak point works and you want to go for weak point regardless, so make sure you build weak point. The only problem with weak point expansion is the fact that even though it gives you an initial big burst of damage it is on that 10 second cooldown and normally in 10 seconds you should be able to fully unload all of the six shots that you have out of your zenith and why sixth because expanded weapon charge magazine capacity will be working on zenith but 49 percent would only get you one additional bullet you need at least 50 percent which is one of the reasons we're using the Slayer set and of course the skill power as well. Keep in mind that because of how Haley's damaging abilities work, I'm talking about Zenith, but I'm also talking about Storm Snare, you don't want to build skill power modifier. Skill power? Sure. And of course, chill skill power as well. As for the reactor, this one should be obvious by this point. Ideally, piercing light mounting or whatever stat stick weapon you want to use. You see, mine has dimension, which is not ideal because right now I simply cannot farm single with chill skill power. That will be made available in about two days or so. But for the time being, you simply cannot farm the best ultimate reactor. You can try and farm a purple reactor, but I wouldn't really bother with it. As for the bonus stats on your reactor, go for additional damage when attacking Colossus. And the second one, go for some critical damage. So the team will be composed of two Lepics, a Glay and Haley. And at the end, we're going to be comparing damage numbers. Now, of course, the Lepics are using the ultimate annihilation build for the maximum amount of damage. And this is going to be a gun glay. And trust me, his damage is quite nice. That didn't crit. No. That's all my damage. I even tossed in a Q there. Almost got him.
Oh, uh, if I can destroy this, there you go. That's it. That's a kill. That's a confirmed kill right there. Done. Nice and easy before the first frenzied phase. Now let's compare damage. Let me know in the chat how much you guys got. I'll go first. So there's no shenanigans. Don't worry if anything seems too high. I'll ask for print screens. I got 28.6. Come on, Lepix. 18.5 from one of the Lepix. 8.2 mil from the Glaive. And our second Lepix, 14.2 million. And you saw the fight from start to finish. With all its ups and downs. So essentially, Haley destroyed all competition. Even though she ran out of cooldowns way before the boss actually died. The Frostwalker is very resistant to cold damage and vulnerable to heat damage, which the Lepix do deal. So, yeah, you are right about that one. Come on, baby. Give me that crit. Nope, no crit. That's it. That's a, as much of a smooth run I can get, considering you have the... Uh, the Lepix here. If I was not facing like this stiff damage competition, I would carefully aim each shot for a weak point. But like this, you better get off as many shots as you can. So let's see the damage results. I have a 16.8, which up until this point has been pretty consistent. So I pull between 15 and 17 million damage. One Lepix 19 million, the other Lepix 26.3 million, and the Glade 2.3, not 23. Gotcha. So that's it. In the Frostwalker fight, the Frostwalker that is more resistant to cold damage that Haley does do, the Lepix do have an edge when it comes to damage, but not survivability. Next. That hit. And go. That's it, boys. This time we had not one, not two, but three Lepix, my friends, and a Haley versus Molten Fortress. As you know, in uh, contrast to Frostwalker, this one is weak to cold damage, but resistant to heat damage, which Lepix does. Now let's see the damage numbers, boys. Put them in the chat. Let's see who has the biggest damage number. I got 50.4 million. I don't think... There's any way Lepix can even get close to this. First Lepix on 13.4. 13.4 on the second Lepix as well. And our third Lepix on 8.8 .8 million. Obviously, Haley absolutely annihilated the fight. You can easily get the same results with just two Haley's. Now, there's still one more boss. Don't focus me, you son of a big shit. No, I'm not positioning here, because if you position there... Then the frost orbs, like, get on your head. Okay, this seems like a good enough position. They must last words. Two mil, two mil, two mil. Uh oh. No! Ah. See? What did I say about long ass animations? This is what I meant. And rage face. Oh god, don't step on me. I'm not into that. Ivan, why so dead? Stop moving. I can't hit moving targets. I'm a Warframe player. Too close, too far away. Damn it, out of range. You need to be careful with that second ability. It's amazing for priming and the actual damage is great as well. But 
unfortunately the range is a little bit limited just don't target me i will be fine it will be best of friends if you just leave me alone excellent damage boys hit him like you mean it oh no <laughs>
Glass Cannon. And I do believe, my friends, that is pretty much it. As always, my name is Malaysia. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.